Welcome to Jackson County Ironworks. I'm your host Dylan Steamy, and today I want to talk about bodybuilding techniques. When we talk about bodybuilding techniques, we're referring to training methods that are geared towards building mass, okay, as opposed to training methods that are geared towards building strength, okay. So with strength training, we're trying to increase the amount of weight we're pushing. We're increasing the the load, increasing our load capacity by stimulating our nervous system to produce more force, okay. When we're focused on bodybuilding, we are we're trying to increase our work capacity. See, the, the, the mass increase to the muscle is a byproduct of, of the response to the stimulus. The stimulus is to exhaust the muscle, to, uh, to use up all of the energy that's stored in that muscle, and to tax these energy production systems that within the muscle, this anaerobic glycolysis, to the point that, that it hits exhaustion, okay, that it can't, can't keep working, right? And that's the stimulus, and the response is to increase the storage capacity of that muscle. And then the byproduct of that increased storage capacity is a bigger muscle, right? So if you want to store more fuel, you have to have a bigger fuel tank to store more fuel, right? Okay, so let's do a... I wanted to highlight a comparison. So we have uh, Dr. Squat, Fred Hatfield, the first powerlifter to squat a thousand pounds, okay? Versus Tom Platts, the bodybuilder with the largest legs in the history of bodybuilding, okay? Freaky big legs. So Fred Hatfield puts up a one rep max of 855 pounds compared to Tom's 765 pounds. But when the load was decreased to 525 pounds, Fred completed 11 reps, and Tom put up 23 reps, okay? So that's the difference, that work capacity. So Tom had this increased work capacity because he has more energy stored in his muscle. He can, his body, his legs can produce more energy to keep working for over a longer period of time, okay? It's, it's endurance, okay? Bodybuilding is endurance training, okay? So our focus is on increasing our work capacity, Okay, now, in order to do that, you're going to have to reduce the load, okay, so that you can maximize time under tension, okay? With strength training, your sets are going to run somewhere between 10 and 30 seconds. In bodybuilding, your sets are going to run anywhere from 40 to 80 seconds, so a much longer set, okay? You have to work the muscle longer to maintain tension for a longer period of time, put more work for more time on the muscle. Um, rep speeds are also quite different. In strength training, your rep speeds are going to be somewhere in three to four seconds, you know, a tempo for, you know, eccentric, concentric, three to four seconds total rep time. Uh, in bodybuilding, it could be somewhere four to as much as I've seen, 30 seconds, okay? So there's a, a lot wider range. And that rep speed is is important in bodybuilding in that combining that with counting your reps, you can calculate the amount of total time for your set, okay? You don't count reps in bodybuilding in order to count reps. You don't need, I think people go in the gym and throw up eight to 12 reps, the bodybuilding range, right? And they're throwing their eight to 12 reps up in 20 seconds, they're not getting the effect, okay? They're not getting the bodybuilding effect. They're, they're strength training. They think they're bodybuilding, but they're not. Okay, and that's why they're not, that's why they can't build the mass that they're after. Okay, and a lot of them, because their reps are sloppy anyway, they're not maintaining tension even for half the time that they're actually, they actually have their, the bar in their hands. They're, they're having a hard time developing their strength anyway. So, I won't get into that on another day. So time under tension. So we want to maximize time under tension. In order to do this, you have to check your ego. Okay, stop chasing weight. Stop chasing weight. You really, I recommend 60% of your one rep max, okay? No more than 70%. 60 to 70%, 50% is great too. 50, 60, 70%, somewhere in that range of your one rep max is what you want to be working with on your working sets, okay? And then you can add drop sets to that. You know, so I'll like, I'll have, uh, you know, 125 pounds, do curls, and then I'll drop to, you know, 100 pounds or 90 pounds. And then I'll do another drop to like 70 pounds. And I do a drop to 50 pounds. Or, or maybe I'll just hit I'll just hit the 70. I'll go 75, 75 and 50. 
right, for curls. And I'll just do a single drop set within each set that I do on the curls. But when I'm doing that, I'm doing that so that I can increase the time of the set, so that I can increase the amount of time that I'm working in that set, extending the set to increase the time and attention. Okay, because once the muscle reaches a point where I can't curl the 75 pounds anymore, okay, I put that bar down and I grab a 50 pound bar and I start curling, it's the same muscle fibers that were pulling the 75 pounds are pulling the 50 pounds. Okay, it's just as much muscle is working just as hard, okay, to do the work. Okay, so it's, I'm extending the set, I'm extending the amount of time under tension. Okay, in order to stimulate his energy systems, in order to exhaust the muscle, right? You don't necessarily need a load at all, okay? Charles Atlas developed dynamic tension, okay? He sold this in magazines. He said, send a dollar in a self-addressed stamped envelope and I send you my book. They tell you how to work out at home with no equipment at all and get buff, okay? Get a beach body, right? And what it is is it's muscle versus muscle. So you have a your antagonist muscles, okay? So you have your bicep versus your tricep. You're working both muscles at the same time, one muscle's working against the other, okay? You can flex and hold contraction, okay? And that's something a lot of bodybuilders do between sets or after a workout, you know, posing routines. Um, flexing a muscle, flexing it during your set, you know, holding that contraction, squeezing that contraction, okay? It, again, it's, Increases the intensity of the work, okay, and holding that contraction, holding that isometric, is it's time, okay, it's time that you're adding to your set, it's work that you're adding. So, bodybuilding, work capacity equals mass, okay. You don't need to work out for longer periods of time either, okay. If you have an hour to put in the gym then your goal should be to put more work in that hour. And you do that by reducing your rest periods, okay? And again, in order to do that, you're going to have to decrease the load. You're going to have to check your ego. Work with lighter weights. Start light. Start lighter than you think you should, in fact. You can always increase, your, you can always increase the load later, okay? You can always work your way up. When you see these bodybuilders who are using 150-pound dumbbells to do their chest presses with, okay, it took them a long time to work up to that, okay? It took them a long time to work up that. You don't just go in there and grab the 150s and, and start jacking reps and, and, and start building reps, okay? You could. It's really not a smart way to do it because your body's not ready for that load and you're going to get hurt, okay? And that's, a, that's another key, okay? You want to work with you want to work with as light of a load as possible, okay? Because you have less risk, less risk of injury. Okay, so depending on the work that you're doing. So like barbell, doing barbell work, doing machine work is safer than doing barbell work, okay? Because you have more control with the machine, okay? It's easier to control it. So you can put a heavier load on the machine and work with that. So you go to a barbell, you're gonna have to lighten the load a little bit because now you have, you have to bring more stabilization into it. You have to have more control over your body to do the movement, right? So you go to dumbbells. Again, it increases the requirement for stabilization for Control your body, so you're probably going to have to use less weight in order to do that safely. Okay? So, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. If you would like to get a custom nutrition and training program, my Ironworks Fit could be the program for the rest of your life. $99 is nothing to pay for knowledge that can last a lifetime. Okay? I'll get you to your goals. You're going to feel great. If you want to build muscle, if you want to lose fat, okay, if you want to build muscle and lose fat, whatever it is. Or maybe you just had a baby recently and you want to get your body back, okay? I specialize in that too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.